Welcome, my name is Afwa Danes. I am your host for Macy's Corn Cooking Corner. We bring local cooks and the community together. Our guest today is Michelle Williams from Mapleton. That's right. Is it Williams or Williamson? Williamson. Oh my goodness. Danish. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you going to be making today for us? Some yummy Christmas treats for any time of the year, really. Oh. So we've got we've got crunchy caramel popcorn because everybody does the soft, squishy kind. Uh -huh. But this is Cracker Jack, only a lot better. Mm. Then we have a pumpkin roll, which is delicious. And, uh, I believe you. and yeah. then we also have spritz cookies, and everybody's in eh, spritz cookies. They're yeah. not, you know, they're, these are great. They're fantastic. They are. Yep. Okay, so what are we going to start off with? What are we going to We're going to start off with the pumpkin roll. We need to get that in the oven baking. So, oh, you know um, what? I see. Do you have a story behind this, this pumpkin roll? I, I do kind of have a story. Can you share it with us? We sure. I love to hear it. <laughs> I really want to hear it. So, I was always into cooking. Uh huh. And when I was 16. Um, I actually met my husband. You look 16. He, thank you. Oh. Thank you. 22, actually. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so he he had this taste at someone's house of this pumpkin roll, and mm -hmm. he loved it. Wow. And uh, so he actually wrote it out on a recipe card, and he sent it to me. That very one right there. <laughs> and he said, um, "You need to learn how to make this because." It's really good, and I want to eat it. Oh. And that was, of course, like way before we were. I he was, was still dating. thinking he was crazy. We weren't even dating yet. Wow. That's right. So, but I did keep the recipe. I did try it out. And I said, yeah, you know, it's a pretty good recipe. So, had it for a long time. And they, I bet you that's kept you together, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? It's the pumpkin roll. So you know, this is good, this, right? This is this is true. And true story. Uh -huh. um, when we were, you know, talking about marriage, uh -huh. and you know all the things that you talk about, he said to me. Um, looks will fade when you're fat and old and ugly. You'll still be a good cook. Oh, so, <laughs> let's get married. That's right. And I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. Oh, that's beautiful. You gotta meet that man sometime. Huh? <laughs> okay, so what do we start off with? We're gonna start off with the pumpkin roll. So we need three eggs, whole eggs. Okay. In, there. in in here. In there. Yep. In and nuts. let's put it in here first. Make sure we don't get any eggshells. Right. Do you have a, a way that you do it? Do you yeah, not on the edge. Oh no. What do you do on this? Yeah, just a, like a big. Yep. Okay. Nice crack. Whoa, and I'll, I'll show you a trick, maybe. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> this is TV, so it might not work, right? Right. Oh, why you do it with the one hand? Ta da! Woo! Look at that. Do you want to dump that in there? Okay. And get, get it going? In the kitchen aid? Yes. yes. All right. Do you know how to turn that on? <laughs> no, I think you might have to do that. So today is about teaching Apple how to cook. That's it. Right? Yeah. So we're going to crank it up. We're going to beat this for five or eight minutes. This is pretty powerful. Okay, now and that's that's, everything was, yeah. So I want to take this off and show everybody what we've got here. Um, do you see that? We've got a very light lemony. We've got ribbons dropping off of that mm -hmm. blender so that it's it's really thick. And that's that's exactly what we want. So what was happening to the sugar as we were, you know, as I was adding um, slowly adding it to us, it was Mixing? Mixing. Okay, so the sugar is is dissolving and cutting the egg mm -hmm. molecules, mm -hmm. and uh, what actually happens is is you create kind of the sugar egg stuff mm -hmm. um, that builds and creates little balloons, mm -hmm. and then the air can become trapped in it, and that's why we have the volume because we've taken three eggs, which you know, tiny little volume. Right. And we've turned it into this big, this big mass of probably two and a half cups of, of liquid. So we're going to be careful and we're going to try to fold our pumpkin in. And just a thought on the pumpkin, um, it, it may cost a little bit more, but I will only use Libby's pumpkin because it, not all pumpkins taste the same. Mm -hmm. And so if you're going to put the time and effort into making something, you know, the ingredients really do matter, and so I, I'm never one to, you know, cheap Same out on it. Yeah. You know, cheap, cheap out in other places. Right. So how much, how much pumpkin did you use? Um, Two-thirds. Two-thirds of a cup? Yep. Okay. And then I'm going to put in about a, a tablespoon of lemon juice mm -hmm. there, if you want to put the lid back on that so it doesn't spill. And then we're going to add a flour mixture, which has flour and ginger and nutmeg and cinnamon 
and a little bit of salt. And so how much flour was in here? So it's three quarters of a cup of flour, so not, not much. We want to keep this really light and airy. And uh, it's, it's, you're making basically a sponge, mm -hmm. so you want to keep that heavy. And, and you'll notice that there's no, um, there's no fats in here, other than the fat in the egg yolk, nice. right? So no, no butter, no, nothing to, no oils, nothing to weigh it down. Right. So, and we're almost done, so and you how could, much, how much spices? What about the spices um, you mentioned? I'd have to read on my little card there. A couple of teaspoons of cinnamon. One teaspoon of ginger, mm -hmm. one teaspoon of baking powder. Yep. Two teaspoons of cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and half a teaspoon of salt. Yep. So we want to get this so that it's mixed and we don't see any more pockets of flour in there. This is going to be good. And it already smells good. It already smells like something that you would want to eat. I've always so. wanted to know, I tried to make a Swiss roll back in yeah. England yep. and it turned out flat. Yeah. What you, happened? Well, did you beat your eggs? Probably not long enough. That would be one big thing because they're at least 50% of the leavening. Mm. And then, you know, if you deflate them while you're mixing in your flour, right. I mean, there could be a lot of reasons why, but anyway, so we're going <coughs> to, we're going to get this. And can you hold on to that for a second? got to grab a spatula. I was a naughty girl. girl <laughs> I was start licking this. But, you know. Do you know, I totally do. <sighs> yes. It's so good. It's, it's really yummy. <laughs> and it's not hard, you know. So, but you can, you can look like a champ. <coughs> and then we're going to just spread this out. By the way, I have parchment. You, you have to have parchment. So what kind of parchment? Parchment. This is a nonstick parchment, and okay. then you, you really, you can use flour and regular spray, but I don't recommend it. So just, don't cheap out. Buy some Baker's Joy or something like that. Okay. And then spray it thoroughly, and you're going to put this on a cookie sheet, and you want this to be as level as possible, mm -hmm. uh, so that it bakes evenly. And then you're going to bake it at 375 degrees. And it depends on your oven. It's going to be somewhere between 11 and 15 minutes. So not that long. Mm -mm. Nope. This is the kind of thing that if you know you get a phone call and you got to bring something to a party that you weren't planning on, or somebody pops in and you want to you know want to make dinner a little bit nicer, mm -hmm. that you could do because you, you know, it doesn't take that long to mix it up, and then you can bake it and you can quick cool it in the freezer. Oh, so man. we need a timer for timer? Uh, like 15. Anyone in the audience has 15 minutes? Well, let's do 12 and check it. So at the end, when you're done doing all this fun stuff, mm -hmm. it is going to wow. look <laughs> like this. We'll take the plastic off so you can see it. It'll be like that, if you can see it. And earlier. it is, and we're gonna we're gonna dress it up because some of my some of my uh, powdered sugar melted into it, so we're just gonna. So what's in the in the middle? Though? That is a really yummy filling. <laughs> we gonna make that tonight too. Um, I don't know if we'll have time, but it is. So frosting is is traditional, or you can do whipped cream. This is kind of a combination. So it's uh, eight ounces of cream cheese, mm -hmm. a cup of powdered sugar, mm -hmm. some vanilla. I always use a lot, so okay. like at least two, te two teaspoons at least. Mm -hmm. And then um, a, a cup of liquid cream, heavy cream, mm -hmm. that you beat, which then becomes about two cups. Mm -hmm. And you mix the whole thing together. So um, that we'll just kind of stick it, stick it out of the way, and then we'll have you try it in a bit. So the next thing that we're going to do... Is that okay? Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> we try my husband it. ate the whole thing. No he ate, way. No, he did. When he got oh that my. recipe, you yes. know, way back when he was yeah. 19, um, the gal who had made it offered him some, and then she made the mistake of saying, well, you can have more. He ate the entire roll. Oh, my goodness. So it's that good. It's that good. It's that good. Oh, I can't wait to try it. Yeah, so we need, to, uh, we need to get going on the popcorn. Oh, one thing. Okay. Actually, I'm going to have you do this while you get this. Going. I hope I've got the right burner on, do I? I don't want that burner. I want this one. Okay, perfect. 
So, mm -hmm. we have some popcorn. I'm going to have you do a couple things here for me. We need to spray this with cooking spray, just so we, it, otherwise you'll never get the caramel out. It will just, okay. you know, be a week so before it all melts out. So can you use any kind of cooking spray? Yep. Any, yeah, and this would not be the Baker's Joy. We do not want to have flour in there. We just want straight up oil. Oil, yep. You could you could use butter, but you know we just we want just a little bit so things don't stick. We're not it's not for flavor. Right. It's not for any other purpose than right. things not sticking. So another trick is to take that big bowl of popcorn. So this is popcorn you've already prepared. Air pot. Air pot. Ooh, so, I love air pot. Trying to think healthy a little bit. That's right. So uh -huh. then we have popped it, but not all the kernels have popped. Right? And how many how many cups is this? It's it, it was one cup of uh, not popped kernels. Kernels, okay, yeah. And then it pops up to that much. Oh, so what wow. we have to do is we have to we have to get the those uh, unpop those duds right. out of there. Right. And the best way to do it is to just gently shake it, and then they're going to fall to the bottom. And you'll start to hear it. And how long do we do that for? We're going to do it for like you know 30, 45 seconds. Yes, you can dance. Go ahead. <laughs> just need some music now, don't we? Yeah. So I got two cups of, of uh, just regular brown sugar, not light or anything. Okay. Or, uh, brown sugar, and then we're gonna put in a. Where's my caro? Do I have that? Oh, I do have that. Right there. So we got some caro. And how long do we do this for? Um, my jiggling. Yeah, you're probably you're probably good to go at that point. So, you know? yeah, and now you're going to take it and you're going to carefully lift it off into here because the duds will be in the bottom. Oh, okay. And that way you don't, you know, crack your teeth, hopefully, which I actually have done before. Yeah. Which was another story. The oh. second time I saw my husband. <laughs> your 2B husband, 2B right? husband, yeah. husband, yeah. I didn't know he was my husband then, of course. Wow. But. So I'm going to spray this with uh, some, some uh, cooking oil again, uh -huh. so we can get the carrot to release because otherwise it's pretty tough. So that will just make it slide right out, little tip. And then we're gonna put in almost a half a cup. And you could do the whole half a cup, but uh, to me, it's a very mild flavor. It's a very light flavor when you do all carrot. So, um, I really like adding some molasses, and this is just so sulfur. Can't, you can't use all molasses. No, no, it that would be, be way too strong. So I like Grandma's. That's the brand that I would recommend, uh -huh. and I cook a lot, so I buy it in industrial size. Yeah. But uh, it's really good molasses, and it's it's quite sweet, um, but it has a nice flavor. But it doesn't like burn your tongue. So I brought back some. Uh, Jamaican um, molasses when we went there, and to Jamaica. Uh, yes, uh, for a company trip. But uh, that stuff in my book is just nasty. It's so strong it like it takes the taste buds right out. Right. Your so um, I thought it would be a fun thing, but it, it turned out not to be. So anyway, we're gonna get this cooking <laughs> on high. Okay. And. This one is easy because unlike most candies and things like that, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about temperature. You're just cooking it and just for a certain amount of time okay. and it's going to work out and no worries. So, so how long do you do that for? So we're going we're gonna to make sure, I'm stirring it to make sure that all the sugar does get dissolved and we don't have anything burning or um, you know, becoming like a hard lump of sugar or something like that. Okay. And then it's going to come to a boil, and once it comes to a boil, we're going to we're going to boil it for about you know three to five minutes until it looks right. So, but it's not that scary because even if you're a little under or a little over, mm -hmm. it will still be fine. It's it's so, pretty foolproof. But someone like myself, I could totally do this. You could totally do this. Yep, totally you could. So I have a cookie sheet somewhere. Oh, I've got it in the oven. That's, That's right. right. I mean, okay. Did you need another one? Um, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to do. A different I'm going to have well, to use nice my cookie sheet from the freezer, which I was going to have for the cookies, but it'll be okay because we'll rotate the cookie sheets out. It'll be fine. Um, the other thing is because this is a caramel or caramel, but I hate 
hate when people say that, so caramel. So caramel. here in Utah. I say just caramel. Yeah, but you're British. So um, but anyway. But this is, this is the way. We, we can. I know, it's spelled that way. Caramel. I just think it sounds kind of pretentious. Caramel. So silk hats. You, have, you need a silk hat. Okay. I would really recommend. A silk hat. What's the difference between a silk hat and a, what is it? The wax. The parchment. The parchment. Um, this is reusable. It's heat proof. I'm afraid that the parchment actually would would not release. It won't melt, but not release the caramel, because um, you know things like like caramels and things can stick to a paper, mm -hmm. right? And you don't want to ha have little bits of paper. Okay. So I would highly recommend this. If you if you really needed to not do that, right. then spray it with some Pam and hope for the best. But you're going to have chunks that stick. Oh, to on the parchment. Uh, no, just on the pan. Oh. Just spray your pan right. with some oil, oil and then put it put it on that. But this release is really nice, and so I like it. Okay, you can smell that, can't you? Coming out of the oven. This smells great. It smells it like Christmas. Smells good. Yeah. Doesn't that? Or Thanksgiving. Some music or something. We should. That, that would be around. awesome. That would be awesome. Maybe okay, so now you can maybe they can see. Yep. Maybe see how all the yucky bits. They, they're in here, they're not in here, which is great. So, okay, so it, it's boiled. It has boiled and it's oh. gone from a complete liquid to this kind of big mm -hmm. syrupy mass. Right. And so it's done at that point. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna add a little little bit of vanilla to that. A teaspoon? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. probably, mm -hmm. yep. And this is some salt and baking soda. So we're gonna stir that in. That baking soda will help change the texture so that it, mm -hmm. it's nice and light and brittle. Right. Um, as opposed to hard like a sucker. See how it's foaming up? Absolutely. That's the soda. And so, the color even changed. Because mm -hmm. the soda's reacting mm -hmm. in there and uh, and it's all nice and foamy. Mm -hmm. and it's just it smells tremendous. so good. And then we're going to dump that all in one hot sticky mass. And the reason I'm wearing a Band-Aid is because Ooh, some of that hot. Ooh, yeah. hot sticky mass got on my finger. Should I stop mixing? Um, or do you do a style? No, <laughs> it's no. You have to kind of mix it and then hold your hand, otherwise it pops up the, the thing. So it's and just kind of like that. And this itself is hot. Yeah, but not up on the rim. No. Because okay. it's the it's got to get the caramel touch. So you can just kind of do that, and you're just going to keep on stirring and mixing and stirring, but your hand, you know, to hold it in. Oh, okay. So you're going to go towards your hand and lift from the bottom. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, this. You and then you're going to scan. Good. And you're going to come down down to the bottom and wow. up to the top, and then we're going to spin it because we want to get this Sorry. into the yeah. Oh, caramel. goodness. Yep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> As you can see, I am a pro at this. <laughs> so we just kind of do that. Uh-huh. And that then we mix amazing. it in. And how much, how much um, treats have you made, you and your husband? Did you for over so time? Far? Over no, so far this, just this for the season. No, this oh. the Christmas holiday we're right. about to Goodness. celebrate. I, I don't know, but I I really don't. But for you Thanksgiving, do quite a lot, don't you? yes, a ton. We um, figure that out. <laughs> Can't get it to turn on. Okay, it's fine. Oh, okay, for the pumpkin. Yeah, we, we made like nine pies for Thanksgiving. Nine pies. So it was it was good. They were all good. Wow. So we are now that looks beautiful. That looks just about done. Finished. Yeah. Yep. So you're just going to keep on stirring that and blending. Now, if you wanted to stop at that point and say, "Hey, I'm we're done. we're done," um, and just eat it, it would be chewy. Oh, okay. But we're going to put it in the oven, mm -hmm. and we're going to bake it, and then it's going to get crunchy and yummy. And you can add nuts. You could add chocolate mm. drizzle. Whatever. Whatever you want. Whatever you want, yeah. So make it more crunchy for you if you want it that way, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, and if so, I don't like pretzels, but I suppose you could put like pretzels yeah. or you could put, you know, other, whatever. Right. Whatever you think would be tasty, you could oh. stick it in there. So that's looking really good. That little chunk, let's, let's, um, let's put that over. Yes, exactly. And we'll have another opportunity because once this goes into the oven, um, it's going to be hot enough in that oven to kind of melt it a little bit, and so you can stir it oh. and kind of, you know, if, if there's a little spot that you missed or if you've got a big chunk, you can kind of break it up and mix it there as well. 
So this is the thing that, and I'm not a huge popcorn fan, mm -hmm. but um, it's like, you know, buttered popcorn, I, I give it a mess, it's not a big deal for me. Mm -hmm. If you put some caramel on it, it's much more challenging. <laughs> but if it's this kind of um, popcorn, it right. is one of those things that I know that I can't even have one kernel. Because you could just sit there. Because then, because yeah. you just eat it, and then you keep eating, oh. and you keep eating, and, you yeah. keep, and you're like, Holy crap, I ate half a bowl. And then I always say, oh, it's air popped. So it's really good. <laughs> so it's good for so, you. Yeah. Right. So I don't yeah. Eat yeah. The whole time. It's healthy. Right. <laughs> I think there exactly. is a little iron in molasses. So <laughs> Actually, it's true. There yeah. is some very you know, goodness. There's some goodness in this popcorn. Yes. I did. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to dump half of that onto one of these and half of it onto one so of these. So this, this is the spritz. The well, silk pack. Oh, silk pack. Mm -hmm. This is a generic, and it doesn't matter. Okay. Back in the day when I got these, they had a patent on it or something. You could only buy the name brand. Uh, but now you can get generic. It's cheaper. So, right. And it does not make any difference. Okay. I'm going to check the... No, that's not quite done. Or, um, so how many cups would you say? Or just, just half? Of just the, half, yeah. So about that much? Yeah, probably. Or a little bit more. It's not like critical, so even if it wasn't quite half or it was a little more, it doesn't matter. About half, isn't it? Yeah. So, and then you're gonna put the other half on this uh, one. Switch it over for you. And we are gonna have to not to put a rush on things. Okay. You, you're gonna have to hustle. Hustle. Yes. Let's go. Because here in a second we're gonna be doing some other things, okay. and we need to have the counter space. Leaned for it. And then I pat it down. Uh huh. I'm going to guess what I'm going to do. You're going to pat. Yes, you're going to pat it. Pat it down. But you're going to pat quickly, I'm rapidly. Pat quickly. So and put it away. Do we have powder trickers somewhere? I know we do. Yeah. Where's my, no, where's my little shaker thing? It's just tastes delicious. Oh, it's over there. Yep, it is. And we're going to bake that in the oven in just for a minute. How long? How long for do that for? about 30 to 45 minutes. Christmas or so. is tomorrow, right? Please tell me tomorrow is Christmas. And all the holidays, shall we say? It's pretty tasty. So we have to set this here. I'm going to grab this and just kind of give this a quick squish. Okay. Because our... What are we doing with this? We it's are nice going to... Would got. you take that and throw some uh, powdered sugar in it and do a little sprinkle shake shake? Take across what? The, top. Take what? the sifter oh, thing. The sifter. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Because we uh, are within... Right we are literally within seconds of needing to take that out. So you're going to shake, shake, shake. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We want a pretty heavy dusting. Pretty heavy. Yeah. I put a quarter of a cup on here. Okay. That's I'm good. Instructed. That's so good. good. <laughs> That's good. We're heavy. We're in. We're there. So, oh, wow. we want to just check this and bring that out where Is everybody can see. Yeah, see, but when you're touching it, it's, it has some spring. We got enough there. Okay. We have some spring to this, mm -hmm. and I can feel that it's not collapsing right. anywhere that I touch it. I have a couple of little finger collapses there. Now, and we can also see it's pulling away from the sides. Yeah. Can you see it's pulling away from the sides of the pencil? We know that this is done. So we need to get this out of the way. We're going to stick it into the oven, and we're going to start the cooking of our popcorn because honestly when you get this going mm -hmm. um, you can you can do everything that we're going to be doing today in about an hour oh. so just an hour yeah all right so it's pretty fast now if you hadn't put the parchment in this mm -hmm. you would not get it out of the pan it would right. tear apart so this we're just going to release it from the sides all the sides and make sure that we don't have anything that is caught and this is where it gets a little tricky okay so we're going to be tricky Woo! <laughs> okay Yay. release you can watch you that take this off. Oh, yeah. let you do that. so yes, yes. I know. <laughs> this is another <laughs> another part so we want to take, and by the way, you could have sprinkled the top with nuts if you wanted to oh. put nuts, and then when it's rolled, the nuts are on the outside, right? right? So you're going to take this, and we're going to take the parchment, but sometimes it will stick even though we've sprayed it, even though we've got that flour on it. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that we don't rip it 
And like here, we can come back in and we can use this knife. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see, you can sort of see, but I'm scraping against the parchment to lift the cake away. And this is coming off really nicely, which means I did a pretty fair job of getting that grease. You can just throw that in the trash. Now we're going to do, we're going to do the rest of it. And by the way, um, a clean tea towel, I, or this flour sack towel. Um, and when I'm at home, I always use Clorox in my wash, so it's sterile basically. But you want to have a thin, clean towel. And then you're going to fold it over, and you're just going to pick that up, and you're just going to roll that really gently right along like this. And now we're done. Way, and so you can wow. take it like this, and you can just put it in your fridge or in your freezer, whatever, for it to chill, and then we'll, you know. So why do we need to put it in the freezer? It's nice and well, warm. Well, you, you could put it in the fridge. You just want it to be completely cold because oh. when it's hot, it's so delicate right. that any kind of messing with it, it's going to break. Plus, you can't fill it with anything because it's oh. hot. It would not. Welcome back. We have... Misha Williamson here. Oh goodness, look at that. <laughs> My um, cookies have fallen off. We have, what kind of cookies are these? They, they're they spritz cookies. They're a butter cookie mm -hmm. and um, they are just delightful. Yeah. And they, they look like a little bit of nothing, but when you taste them, mm, they're, they're a whole lot yes. of something. So we have, a, mm -hmm. we have a few flavors to try. Mm -hmm. Um, and that, that's one of the, the beautiful things about a cookie like that, that you can, um, you can make one dough, one batter, right. and then turn it into different flavors. And so this is, whoops, this is good for putting on a, um, a holiday tray or even putting it in a cute, you know, holiday cellophane bag and then giving it away that's as a, a little gift. And, you know, people that get these are probably going to look at it and go, Oh, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Okay. So you well, can you know, I can door. appreciate. Well, thank you. <laughs> that that it doesn't look like that much. It I mean, it's not. Beautiful. It's not like you know a pumpkin roll. Yeah. You true. know, but if you taste just one, you'll go hot mm, diggity. Yes. This is a really good thing. So that's why I chose this one because they're easy. They're they're uh, fast. They um, they taste yummy. So what we have done is. Uh, do you want to kind of point out the different flavors there? Well, this one, this bright green, is lime key. Is that correct? Uh, key lime. Yep. Key lime. Is mm -hmm. this um, buttons? Yep, chocolate? it is. It key is. lime buttons. Yep. So you can get those at mm. specialty cooking stores. And what we have right great. in front of you, Afwa, is the the lime mm -hmm. um, spritz cookies. And so we're going to do a little drizzle. Hopefully it's, oh good, it's still nice and melty. Your expertise, yeah. Well, I, I'm afraid I should have brought a little bag, but <laughs> anyway. Uh, to pipe it. You can yeah, pipe it as well. You can pipe it. And so we're just going to, we don't have a bag, so we're just going to do like oh. this mess. And we're just going to get some on there. And it's artistic, gonna be, I say. It's going to be just fine. Whatever we do is going to be just fine. That's right. <laughs> Love it. And the mess on the plate. You know, it's not going to stay on this plate, so it's all good. And then we're just going to call that yummy. Oh, and uh, we're going to let say, it chill. I'd say Van Gogh, if he was here, he'd say, wow, what a work of art. He, I mean, really. he might. He it's might. Fantastic. So, And over here, what we're trying to do is melt just some semi-sweet chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. um, what are these? Semi. Yep. Semi-sweet okay. chocolate chips, yep. And you can just pick your favorite flavor. Okay. Um, and you added the whipping cream. What does that, uh -huh. what does that do? Well, because I'm making a ganache. Oh. And uh, so this is, this is never going to be a firm set because of the extra cream. It just softens that chocolate right down. But it does certainly taste yummy. Oh, these flavors so, and smells. Do you want to open up our, our little... And by the way, that's uh, candy canes. So that for... You, did you smash? Or yes. Did you actually, my husband smashed them for me. So um, the reason that I like candy canes is that they're a little bit more brittle. Mm -hmm. They're not quite as hard as those round starlight mints are. Right. Those don't crush as well. Also, the, the red is only on the outside of the starlight mint, so when you crush it, what you end up with is mostly white pieces, mm -hmm. and that doesn't look as pretty. So candy canes, all around a better choice. Um, they're inexpensive, and you just take your frustration out. That's it. You like a, it. How did you break it? Um, with the meat tenderizer, actually. Oh, you have wow. this really heavy thing, and I put it as a black bag, and you just 
you know, smashed it down. Smashing. So um, anyway, we're going to have you kind of do the the, the shake shake, mm -hmm. and we want more because we want this mm -hmm. to stick. If we can, okay. if we can possibly get it to stick, we want some to stick. But you still want me to do the yeah. But just, but just, you know, more. Here it goes. Because my artistic abilities. It's not as runny as your one, though. Can I That's just dab, true. Can I just dab it? You could. It? You could. And, you know, another thing you could do is just kind of do a dippy thing on so the back. Side. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it has a, a chocolate. Got to get all of it on there. Yeah. I wash my hands. We're good. We're good. So there we go. And then you could take it at that point, if you wanted to, and you could do this little dusting, and it's like a little Christmas tree shape and a Christmas on the side. In fact, I think that's cute. We should do that to all of them. I think we should, actually. Dip and dunk and, you know. Should we do the chocolate on top of the Christmas tree? Sure. Great. Sure, sure. Just get your kids in there. Look, they would love this. Oh, they, would. they would love it. Be in heaven. Get, your, get your fingers involved. Make it messy. And this way. That is cute. I like that idea. Good job. Is that yep. too much chocolate? Uh, you can is, never have too is much chocolate. That, that was my mm. thing. Can you have too much chocolate? I think the answer right. is no. Oh. So there we go. Except we're going to have to do sprinkle, sprinkle because we don't want it to set. Oh, that's right. Okay. These are going to be great. I do the chocolate. You do okay. that. I can oh, do that. Look at that. It's awesome. So that's this so is cute. it. Like this. So do you think your boys would like to do that? Oh, they would love so. that. And this is something good for children. My yes. children would love that. They would. And it didn't. And it looks cute. It didn't really take that long, did it? Well, we haven't made the cookies that they <laughs> That's right. It doesn't take that long to decorate. Uh, but even make so, children things. could participate in this, couldn't they? They could. Let's get a little bit. Like Whoa! Cool. All right, we're having fun. Yeah, we, we are. need to. <laughs> so whilst you're making this, you should have some music in the background. Yes. You could be humming, the smell, Christmas the aroma. Music. Yes. So these are, um, they like those kind, the Danish butter cookies that mm -hmm. come in that blue tin. tin That's yes. what those taste like. Oh and these goodness. are coconut, favorite. which I love. I love coconut. I, and I teach, so. and so every year I give some to the teachers, you mm -hmm, know, my, mm -hmm. my kids, and I'd love to make them and give them out. <laughs> yeah, they would appreciate it. They really would. Even if at first they look at it and say, ah, oh, so you gave me, <laughs> you gave me spritz cookies? Yeah. What are you thinking? But then they would taste it and they would know that they you would, love them. That's right. No taste homemade. Yes. Which is well, better, better. Better. Absolutely. Yes. I'd yep. rather make my own cookies than buy. You know. Yeah. And they have all of the, all of these yummy ingredients really that you can get at, at like mm. Macy's. So, okay, wow. that wasn't that hard. Right. And that's that's it. We're done. But we're gonna get that chilling. I'm. You put that in the fridge and I'm gonna okay. wash. Okay. I'll wash. The, the end result. Delish. I'm going to put this in the fridge. Is that right? In yes. The fridge or freezer? Uh, it can go in the freezer if we can find a spot in there okay, for it. In the it's a little bit, a little bit tricky. We're so we're. Christmas party in here in the morning. Oh, are they? Oh, there you go. Okay, so now we are going to make yes. cookies. We're going to now actually we're make, cookies. make the cookies. So. Oh, the actual dough. Yeah. Because you said you wanted to do this for your boys, so Absolutely. you need to know how to I do this. To so, um, the recipe. Here, bring this one. Oh, right yes, here. good. Okay, so I got the stuff. And it is, we, we need to decide what flavor. Do we want coconut? Yes, absolutely. Okay. And do we want absolutely. it? Do we want it like a butter, like the Danish butter cookies? Absolutely. Like, okay. Let's just do the we'll whole just do thing. That. Let's go okay. all out. We can do, we can Christmas. totally do that. Holidays only comes once. <laughs> That's true. So only once. you're gonna dump. You're gonna open the butter. You're gonna put okay. it in there. Let me grab you a spatula. I'm, I'm going to. Whilst you do that, I'm gonna. Wash my hands, but still have oh, I'm that's dying right. to lick my fingers, but you know. <laughs> okay, you go wash all over this. So. I think you know how. I don't think I need to show you how to open a package of butter. No, but it's, it's pretty standard. So we're going to put um, two sticks of butter. Do not, okay. under any circumstances, compromise and use margarine. Oh, margarine? No. No, you know, I have to. No. I prefer butter. Okay, but. Anyone who might think, mm. I'm going to scamp, I'm going right. to save some money, I'm going to put margarine. No. no. Okay. They, they, it's not, don't. So you, don't it cannot work. There. Right. That's right. Right. So now we're going to get the flour in there. Okay. All of it? Uh-huh. All is of how that. Much? That is two cups of flour. Two cups. 
And then we are going to put in some powdered sugar. The whole thing we're uh, going to put, right? Yes. Yep, so yep, what yep. if you don't have a KitchenAid? Use a, a hand mixer. You can even do these by hand, actually. I wouldn't recommend beating eggs to make the pumpkin yeah, roll by hand, right. but you could do it by hand if you, you need to. You could do this recipe by yes. hand. Okay. Yep, that's good. Yeah, the I traditional never thought way. of that. Yeah. But, okay. okay, so now what we want to do is we want to measure two-thirds of a cup of powdered sugar and put that in there as well. Mm. So you're going you're gonna to make these cookies. You will have experience. So you'll go home and you'll say, hey, kids. Look what mommy can make. Cookies. Yep. And put this in here. Yep, that's right. And then you're just going to give it a, a shake of salt. How many shakes? Just, just one. Just like a shake. Like that. Just like maybe one more. That's okay. That's enough. Okay. Uh, it depends on your shake, right? If you're a big right. shake or a little shake. Yeah. Okay. Um, so now we're going to crank it up. Okay. Turn this which thing is, up. now we want to crank this. There we go. Oh. And now we're going to turn it on. I love that. Just get that. I mean, look at that. That's fun, right? Just put it to like a two. Okay. We're going to get that going. And it doesn't look like anything. No. You know, it looks like flour and it just looks floury and it looks like there's not enough liquid. Right. And we're going to put like a squirt of vanilla in there, probably two teaspoons. And then we're going to dump in the desiccated coconut. It's desiccated coconut, not flaked coconut. Sweetened. It's not sweetened. So um, and that is actually the secret. That and butter are kind of the two secret ingredients for the Danish butter cookies. Mm. And if you don't use those, it's not going to taste like it. Right. They'll still be good without the desiccated coconut, but it won't be, you'll, it, it, it won't be the same. Right. So. And see, it's coming together. Mm -hmm. And we're going to just keep mixing it until it is, so it's Tight all coming together. Yeah. So that looks great. That looks like it's just doing what it's supposed to. So. Uh, yeah, you turn it off. It's beautiful. So I don't know how many seconds did that take. Yeah, us? I was just gonna say, how long? How long do you do like that for? Seconds? I don't know. I think it was probably Less total of a minute, minute or yeah. something like that. Maybe I mean like dumping the ingredients in. And well, you see. can you can see yeah. when it comes together this way, right? Yeah, then it's then like you know yeah. it's ready. and it okay. has the texture of like maybe play dough or something. Mm -hmm. But it's all um, homogenous and everything is mixed in and. Right. And uh, looks great, and it, it smells like vanilla. And so mm -hmm. now we are going to do. Oh, is this what you call this? It's a cookie press. This is a cookie. Oh. Yep, and it comes with different um, discs, discs, so that you can extrude the cookies uh -huh. differently. So um, I'm going to show you because you'll need to buy one. I so know. You can <laughs> So I went, when I'm at home, I store all the discs on the top. Okay. Okay, so why don't you pick out the disc that you like. Oh, it has to be this one. There's, okay, this one. All right, yes. that's good. And then we'll just set these aside. Ooh. And then we are going to put that, it just sits right on the top, and you screw that on. That's and amazing. then it's a, it's a universal tube, so it doesn't matter which way. It comes off like this, and now we're ready to load it. So we're going to take some of this dough. And I just got on a piece of parchment. You could use a right. countertop, mm -hmm. whatever. You don't have to have parchment for sure for this. Okay. But I've got it in a tube that, or yeah. So you got to roll it to just fit it a little in bit, there. just enough to get it to fit. And then you're going to get it kind of. I don't like to refill, so I tend to pack it in there. Right. Okay. Now it's ready, Ooh. and you just put it on there straight. Touch it again. Yep, and then screw it on. Mm -hmm. ah, perfect. Okay, so now, now this is the only tricky thing. Wonderful it's the only. Look at this. It is. It's a fun gadget, and your boys, your older boys, could probably get used to yeah. it. So we want to have a cold cookie sheet oh, that's cold. because if we don't have a cold cookie sheet, the dough will slide and it doesn't really. Do you need to grease this? Nope. Got. We have plenty of. Come on. Ah. Okay, scratch that. <laughs> we want it to release. It needs to release. Of course, it would not work today, right? Yes. Well, this is a good thing, so that you know. So that this is kind of problem <laughs> that you may you may experience on your own. In which case, we're going to force it. And I can feel that that's enough, and I'm just going to oh. cut it. 
Aww. When it works, it's uh -huh. beautiful. So you, you probably okay. won't have these kinds of problems. It's probably just because okay. we're here <laughs> instead of at home. Ah, there oh, we there go. You go. And there we're not. <laughs> oh, oh, sad little lovely, thing. Lovely. Sad little thing. There we go. Maybe. Oh. So a refrigerator, maybe, instead of a freezer. Right. Okay, we're, we're pumping along. We're good. Now, I'm going to let you try it. Please. And you'll, like feel, you'll feel it kind of pressure, and then that's when you know to release. Yep. Oh. A little bit more. So oh, hold oh. it down like this. Okay. Excuse me, a little bit more. Did you feel like it's resisting? Okay, oh, that's okay. a, maybe like two squeezes. Should be almost. Oh. But you know what? You don't have to feel bad because it happened to me, right? <laughs> Takes a little, little bit oh, of so practice. Oh, so there's a kind of release in there. Well, you'll feel it. Oh, okay, yes. So yes, maybe yeah. not quite as much, and then they'll be. Yay. Yeah. Then you just kind of place it. It doesn't matter. They all taste oh, good. Oh, wonderful! I love so. this thing. No. And yeah. it makes a fun sound. Yeah. Okay. I think I've got to feel it. You know? Yes, you do. You kind of have to get a feel for it. And that may be out of dough. Looks like it. It yep, is. Yeah. It is. So, but then Look at that. you just push the release, pull the plunger back. Now you're ready to unscrew and this load it up. This is a fun thing that everyone can do. I think a lot of people would Why like not? this. Why not? Husbands and wives. It's very wow. satisfying. Children. We always mention children, but husband and wife can have a fun yep. time, can they? Yep. Mm -hmm. Or teenagers. Or teenagers. Could That's make right. could make some make cookies and then take it to friends as a little service project. That's it. Take it into the, the house bound or to a... And if they're going to go caroling, you could make this up oh, ahead of time. That's and a good idea. Give it to people you're seeing. You know. Could eat them all by themselves. That's, yeah, you know, we can do that too. too yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. Take okay. it away. Oh. Love it. I am going to get me one of these. They're fun. All right. So I'm taking the. Uh, this takes all the problems out of like baking cookies. Yep. Oh. And you didn't have to. Um, you don't have to roll. You don't have to roll the. Right. Yeah. That is my. Okay. So this this popcorn has been in there baking for a little bit, and we're just going to give it a little stir, just to make sure that everything is. Heating and it's not. I mean, what even though the pan, I to say? What 250. 250. 250. Yep. So, so it's a lot cooler. Mm -hmm. okay. The the pan is still warm, but it's you know I'm not like leaving my hand on the popcorn. Right. Caramel is, is hot, so I guess you should be careful. <laughs> I I I'll I say this for other people, don't put your hand on top of the can. Right. Pan. But I kind of have. A get, pain threshold that's yes. just through the roof. Right. Yes. Okay. Especially when it comes to burns. So, smells good. Yeah, it's going to mm. be it's going to be tasty. Okay, so we're going to pop this back in for just a little bit longer. Okay. It's not quite done. And how this, will you know when it's done? When it's hard. Oh, it's so hard. like it'll feel soft, mm -hmm. but if you put a piece, if you put a piece on the counter, I can tell that this oh, is a little okay. bit a little bit too soft still, a little bit sticky. So um, we're going to stick it back in for just a little bit longer. But as it cools on the counter. It will, it will get to be crunchy, mm -hmm. and so this is almost. There's a little bit. Right. Can you see that? There's a little. Mm -hmm. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. There's little threads. Can you right. see those? Yeah. So that means it's not quite, because it shouldn't thread. Right. It should. It should, just, it should shatter. Right. Okay. Just. So, crack. exactly. Right. So, um, we're we are done with this. We're going to kind of clear this way. We're going to do some testing, mm -hmm. some some sampling, and uh, and then. Our popcorn will probably be done by then. Wonderful. Well, Michelle, this has been so. marvelous. This is and this really didn't take that long. Yep, an hour. You could do an all hour. of this in an hour if you, if you, you know, have a little experience, a little practice. Yeah. The order of operations would be yeah. start your cake roll first, right. oh, then that, do yeah. your popcorn mm -hmm. while you're, um, actually I pop the popcorn while I'm beating my egg right. yolks and then uh, you just kind of process all the way through and then you're done. So anyway, um, we should have a plate, right, somewhere? Yes. 
have a plate. Uh, like a plate for a sample, sample-y kind of plate. These are. Yeah, that's a perfect time. Oh, that looks lovely. <laughs> Oh dear. We love all holidays here at Macy's. Club. We're not discriminatory no, not when it comes to our no, holidays. Try. Um, trying to find and a knife. Ah, oh, oh, there it is. Okay, mm. so you've got to you've got to try, try these. Yep. So and I think our viewers would love to see the inside, even though you can see it on the outside. This is not the best knife. I wish I had a serrated knife that could right. slice through it without crushing. But. But yeah, can you see? No. Can we? Nope, we can't see. There you go. You get, it kind of swirls. So there's that, and then you have to try the popcorn. And I'm going to get the other, the other cookies I'm out. I'm being very happy at this very moment. I mean, yes. it's wonderful. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna finish this up. By putting some of these darling, and I love that idea. I yeah, love the idea it's, of. It's fabulous. So I, I hadn't thought of that. So wait a minute. Bite go. size. I like this too. Yeah. The fact it's bite size, you can just pop it in your mouth. Do you know? I'm going to tell a story on our neighbor, okay. on our joint neighbor Alfred. Uh huh. So I made the coconut ones, yeah. and he's not much of a sweet eater, mm -hmm. um, and he tried them, mm -hmm. and ate I don't know 25 no. in about <laughs> five minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so they must be good. That's what you're saying. They are, they are so good, um, and they're not terribly sweet. I think that's probably why right. he was able to eat so many, is because they, mm -hmm. you know, if you're not uh, someone who's into a lot of sugar, these really are not a sweet cookie, mm -hmm. which I then is that. a problem for somebody like me because then I can really pack them yeah, away, right? But okay, so now you have to try it and you have to tell me what you think. So Thank can everybody Christmas. see? So we've got the, yes, yeah. there we go. Lime, coconut, coconut, Danish butter cookies, and our little Christmas tree, yeah. chocolate mint. That, that was mint. Okay. That's wonderful. Do I get to try? You do. Wow. I've got mm. Here we go. Mm. The <laughs> That is really good. Well, because I want to show them how to do that, I've decided that it's going to be a pain if they didn't know. You have to try oh. the cookie okay. and the popcorn. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, okay. I know it's sugar I'm overload for you, but yeah, seriously. Yeah, really... mm. Did you try the lime one? Mm -hmm. See, isn't mm. that so yummy? Who thinks of a lime spritz cookie? Nobody. Not me. Nobody. That but delicious. they're delicious. And they're kind of, um, the citrusy really good, comes through, yeah. so there's a little bit of tang to it. Mm -hmm. I know. Let me try the chocolate one too. And you have to try a butter cookie. But I won't make eat the whole <laughs> thing because you got to try popcorn too. I know. Yeah. That's what I'm getting ready for. Yeah. I got you. Hey, I'm just trying this one and then... Well, if you have to try the butter cookie though. Mm. Because it is like a Danish butter cookie. I'm really proud of myself. Because these are things that I had to develop <laughs> myself, okay? This is not from a book. This is me. So this is what Michelle made, okay? This is all homemade yes. and a delightful. Absolutely delicious. And Can't believe it's that. It's my own recipe. This her is own mine. recipe yeah. that will be available to all of you <laughs> who is in, who are interested. It's popcorn. And the popcorn now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because it's crunchy. Mm. It's <laughs> I love this show. <laughs> You just have to have a stiff, stiff upper lip there. Push your way through all the sugar. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> this is like bought. Yeah, I know. It's better yummy. than bought. So the thing, mm. the difference between the two of us is that I'm like really like my sweets, mm -hmm. and you really are not like a sweet eater. But I really enjoy so that. So this That's is hard really for you. But for like me, I could just put this all away. Well, good. <laughs> So um, now we're going to yes. do something that we're going to show you because the roll, mm -hmm. there is a little bit of a trick to that. So I, I don't oh, want to leave you. Oh, to how to roll it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're going to do that. Really okay, we are back with Michelle. Now we're going to actually learn how to do the cream cheese in the middle. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And before we do that, though, I want to show you these delightful cookies. I mean, I've eaten all of them now and it's quite it's just amazing like we were talking about they are delightful they are but not heavy light mm. delicate they're just mm. great so okay so with this um 
I mean, to be perfectly honest, I don't have any cream cheese. So it's, we're okay. going to pretend and we're just going to put this with uh, whipped cream in it instead. Okay. And it is still a little bit, you can feel there's warmth Let's there, see. which is yes. not, a, not a handy thing. We don't want that. Actually, I want to start over here um, because it's going to melt. So don't look at the fact that the whipped cream is going to melt when it hits that heat. Right. <laughs> it's the process because you have this very delicate, delicate mm -hmm. cake yeah. sitting on this towel. And how do you get it from there to that? So, so this has to be cold. Cold. Cold, cold. Yep, yep. Okay. And we've unrolled it. And then this would have a little bit sturdier filling traditionally. With it's, the cream cheese. Yep. But it's okay. So we're just going to, and you're going to spread it mm -hmm. on there about, you know, pretty evenly evenly as you can manage. Also, I don't have enough cream left, so it would be thicker than this. Right. We're gonna take it, we don't want it on this back edge. That's gonna be where it joins. Mm -hmm. So just a little strip that's not. You're gonna get it around and take it to the edge. You can trim the edges off so that they look perfectly perfect. Mm -hmm. And you could use any filling that you wanted. By the way, mm -hmm. this pumpkin recipe is not adaptable to a non-pumpkin jelly roll. It will not work. <laughs> Okay. So if you're out there thinking, oh, great, but I'll make it white. No, it won't work. Okay. So. If um, you don't like pumpkin, don't, don't make it. Try yep. This. So, and then you see how the dish towel is actually doing the rolling. rolling. And you did such a great job. See, it's oh. releasing. Otherwise, it would stick to the towel. That's right. why you put the powdered sugar oh. down. Because otherwise, it would, it would tear. And, you know, yeah. I probably said, hey, not so much, and, you but know, yeah. I didn't listen, and then I shouldn't have said anything. So, anyway, there you go, as we're taking oh, it. Oh, like that. Yep, see, like, yeah. yeah. But it doesn't matter, because we can fix it with I'm just, with just some more on yeah, top. Yeah, just get it, and then we'll just knock it. Mm. And there you go. And that's how you do that. Fantastic. And then if you were going to lift this onto a plate... Which is, you know, instead of serving it on a towel on right. the counter, yes. which you, you may not do want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You get it like that. You'd have the plate right here, mm -hmm. and then you just kind of, you know, pick it, roll it. You can and flip it, and whatever, and then you add more powdered sugar. It makes it fine. Yeah. So that's that's, that's how you it. do it, just with the towel. Fabulous. And that took what, like, I don't know, one minute to two frost minutes, and maybe. roll two, yeah. whatever. Yeah. So now we're done. That's it. <sighs> Wonderful. You can make all these things for your family. Oh. I'm so delighted. I'm so glad you came on today. And if you do make it, you have to call and tell me. I will. Because I know how healthy you are. Oh, no, I will healthy be doing person. this. This is healthy. It's there was hardly any sugar in iron. this. That's right. There's iron, iron in that. You know, a little treat <laughs> in the holidays. Air popped okay. and iron. That's right. right. And this, this was really yeah. good. Hardly any butter. Yeah. Or Squash or fiber. Or yep. Dairy. Dairy. Mm -hmm. A little protein <gasps> in the eggs. We're good. So it's it's good. practically it a meal. That's how I look at my desserts. I like it. I love that idea. <laughs> All right. Well, well thank, thank you Apple. so much, Michelle, for coming in. And You're this welcome. has been a delight. All right. Thank you. Thank you all. And again, we can. We would love to see you all next week here at uh, Macy's Cooking Corner. And next week, Thursday at 7 o'clock.